Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 16th to the 22nd, 2023. Okay, let's see what we have here for your reading. Please know that I am finally now catching up on my readings and Reiki sessions over Christmas. Now we're into January and I do have some openings available if you desire a session with me or a reading. All the information is posted below each and every single one of my videos. And when you get into my website, you now can pull up the calendar and actually schedule the time and the day that you want. So let's see what we have for your reading cancer. Starting off, your first energy card is infinite blessings. You've got magic work through you and you have the birds. And I do believe that you're going to find that something's going to be coming in here that's going to make your head turn. There's beautiful, beautiful uh, blessings and they show up in the most unexpected ways but always on time. You know, your life may not be exactly as you anticipated but be sure to look for your miracles and count your blessings, okay? This is, this is something that could be coming in all of a sudden or something unexpected shows up when you least thought you would hear about it or, or receive it. So something's coming in and you're going to be really happy about it because you also have the Wheel of Fortune in your reading. So you've got the Scarab Beetle and its spirit and it is magic works through you. So I do believe that you're going to see something coming in here. Whatever you're putting and applying your energy into, wherever you let your creati creativity flow for you, you're going to see that you're going to see some infinite potential. Doors of opportunity opening up for you. You know, you're going to be able now to repurpose something. Maybe you're repurposing, uh, making, you know, something new and repurposing something old from it. Uh, refreshing things up. Now it's a time for great optimism, for you can accomplish anything you desire. And your creative uh, endeavors will come to fruition. It's like miracles and opportunities and abundance and love are going to appear seemingly out of nowhere. The same as this infinite blessings card. So something's going to happen here, magically almost, that you just didn't think would surface for you. Here you have the birds, and the birds is all about getting contact from other people. Uh, the birds is all about communication and texts and, you know, or a date that could come up on the calendar and meetings and interviews and negotiations and things like that. Uh, you could be hearing about this type of communication. Maybe you're going to hear about a new job or an interview or a contact's going to come ahead and say, you need to hear this. Uh, you need to know what's going on. It's beautiful. Just don't get caught up in any gossip in the office. This card can refer to gossip as well for some of you. Okay, I like the energy already coming in here, Cancer, on your reading in the very beginning of this reading. So on the bottom of the deck, let's see what we have here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely you're working, or pardon me, the Nine. This is a new deck to me and the figures are not as legible. But anyway, um, this is the Gregory Scott Tarot. If you've checked him out, he's out here on YouTube as well and he has his own deck. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, walking in your garden of abundance, being resourceful, knowing you're in control of a situation and steadfast and sure and going after it. It's about f f wanting financial and material security at this time. And maybe some of you are out there doing your scouting out there and looking for ways to make more money or perhaps looking at ways to get a new job that will pay you the money that you need so you have the resources that you need. Um, this is about feeling the sense of security now, inner security, and going out there on your own, doing the due diligence and the work uh, so that you can have this. Um, you know, you, you're going to feel independent now, and you're going to see some accomplishments coming in at this time, things that are going to really make you feel like you've got infinite blessings. Beautiful. Okay, coming in in your first row, which could be the energy coming in behind you or the beginning of the week, you have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune, as I had said. So, you know, you definitely have stayed focused here, going after what you want. It's almost as though, uh, you know, you, you're fearless. You, you, you have dealt with all the challenges in the past and you've walked across the fire and now you're coming out like the phoenix stronger going for what you want holding your head up and not wavering this is the card i always call the queen of wands she flips the bird to the world and says hey 
All you doubters, watch me. All of you that thought I couldn't do this or I couldn't achieve this, watch me. And she goes for it. She, Her counterpart, her power partner is the King of Wands. And he goes big or he goes home. She's learned well. So I see, I see a lot of you taking on her characteristics this week, holding your head high, your chin up, your chest out, and going after what it is you want. And you're going to find that Wheel of Fortune because of it. Three of Wands says, you know what? Again, count your blessings for how far you've come. Three of Wands is watching for your ship to come in, waiting for the rewards to come in for your hard work and effort. You need to continue moving forward. Continue working on your goals. Don't wait too long. This is about you commending yourself for, has, for has, how far you have actually come to this point. Standing in your independence. You're going after your goals, doing what you want so that you can be happy and walk in your garden of abundance. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Perfect timing, my beautiful Cancers. You know, incredible and inevitable luck. Has turned, it's a turning point right now. You're going towards a beautiful new, uh, a new, uh, you know, new horizon and a new, uh, beautiful new journey here. Um, this is a new beginning for some of you. And opportunities knocking and opening doors for you to go ahead. You know, because this is about luck and chance and we can all have good fortune or we can have bad fortune. It's up to you to make those choices that are going to lead you to the improving uh, sense of well-being in your lifestyle, going after what you want. Remember I said doing the due diligence and the work, but I do believe that you're going to see something coming in here. Some of you may have to travel for your, your work. You may have to uh, go the distance. You may be planning a trip, whether it's for business or for vacation, or you just have to go the distance and work hard to get these goals coming in. You're determined, and I believe you're going to go after that, and you're going to be able to pat yourself on the back for what you're achieving to this point. So don't look back. You've got blessings coming in here in this reading. It's beautiful. Now, the chariot in the center position and the three of pentacles crossing over and the four of pentacles. Um, this is the center position. This could be the energy you're feeling now or the middle of the week. Take it the way you want to read it. Okay, the chariot, again, champion, going out after what you want, coming out ahead, you know, landing on your feet, coming up smelling like a rose, going after things, whether they sound risky and there's consequences involved. But you're brave now. With the a Queen of Wands, you're going after what it is you want and you're holding your head up high. Don't be afraid to make that move. Don't be afraid to apply for that new job. Don't be afraid to step into that new relationship. Don't be afraid to make that move geographically. If you're going, you know, on a trip, don't be afraid to do that. He comes out the champion. You need to commend yourself and pat yourself on the back. Great rewards. The Three of Pentacles crossing this reading is working hard. Yes, you are. You're doing the work. You're doing the due diligence. This could be some of you wanting to take a new form of, of uh, a new course of study. Uh, maybe you're adding to your resume. Maybe an, uh, you're wor working hard on a new craft. Some of you may have a project you're working on that you can turn to uh, into a business or sell and make it lucrative and see the rewards coming in for your effort. Um, I do think that you're going to see yourself getting ahead because you're doing the work. You're putting your head down and this is how you're going to get to that space of the, the wheel of fortune. Four of Pentacles says don't hold on too tight, okay? Uh, this is the extremes in which you, you spend your money or you save your money, but also it can have to do with the energy. Um, make sure you're getting out there, you're socializing, you're networking, you're doing the things that you need to do socially to find the right contacts and the friendships that you need at this time. Others, you could be pushing yourself too hard, giving 150% of your time to other people. It's time to set up boundaries and say, hey, I need to balance my energy. I can only give so much of myself and be pulled in so many directions. Now, um, keep your eyes open because this is a card that says you may be feeling as though, you're, uh, you know, you've got some trouble hanging over your head here. And it could have to do with finances. So you have the opportunities and doors opening to find ways to resolve these issues of finances. So whether you're looking for another job, whether you're turning your hand to uh, some hobby that you have that you can now turn into a passive income, uh, or whether you're taking credit here or getting your diploma or uh, um, your master's in something here that you can add to your resume that will level you up. But you're definitely doing the work here. And this is what's going to help propel you forward. Don't hold on too tightly to any uh, negative energy this week as well. Let it go. Okay, coming in at the end of the week, uh, energy that could be future energy coming in towards you, you have the star, you have the ace of cups and the page of swords. 
hearing about some information with the Page of Swords, <clears throat> and that could see make you see the light and the truth in a situation. It may come in challenge as a challenge towards you, or you may hear about something uh, that you you know in a way you didn't want to hear about it. Maybe it comes through the media, or maybe somebody in the lunchroom is gossiping behind your back or they know something or it comes in third hand you know I always say don't attack the messenger when this comes in because you need this message it's meant for your ears and it could have to do with a legal situation it may take time it may put a halt on something but I do believe it's going to help you move forward for you to see clarity in a situation that may have been challenging you maybe it was a legal situation for some of you now you've got the ace of cups you've got support here loving support this could be somebody new coming in that's going to turn your head. This could be the renewal of something here in a relationship where you're going to find the two of you are so happy. I love the Ace of Cups. It's all about deep love and feelings like that. Um, you know, you're finding your feelings have intensified right at this time too. And you could be falling head over heels in love with someone for at this time or something. You could be excited about something that's just making you feel over the top of the moon. You do have that wheel of fortune. I keep telling you, you've got infinite blessings coming in and you are getting the right contacts you're hearing to go after the goals you want. You're coming out ahead here for some reason, my beautiful Cancers. Okay, so... Um, I, but this can also be the beginning of a new love and it can be, uh, you know, a desire for deeper connections with somebody right here. There could be somebody coming in that you're going to be spending a lot of your time emotionally with. The star comes in. This is all about wishing on a star, not giving up, knowing that the sky's the limit. Uh, this is about you possibly showcasing yourself, marketing yourself, getting out there. You are the headliner on your own stage, my beautiful beautiful cancer so stay focused go after what after what it is you want and and you know be determined because the star says you can get it um this is all about you going out there and letting the world know what you have to offer and like i said there could be some of you going out there wanting to open your own business or maybe some of you out there looking for a new job or a way of making uh more income here but i do believe there's going to be something coming in here and this is the star that says you're shining and walking in your own illumination and your light now and you're going to get recognized for what you're doing wow i love it well, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers, this is your reading for this week. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And always know I send you lots and lots of love and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.